All of these uh, diseases that uh, we've uh, examined today can be found in uh, Alabama and samples can be collected. The one disease that is not in Alabama is oak wilt. Oak wilt, like Dutch elm disease, uh, causes a wilting of the trees. Uh, one of the symptoms that you can see with oak wilt is the staining in the xylem. If you cut the tree, you'll see the staining internal to the xylem. Uh, what that does is it causes uh, the tree to wilt, and what we see are uh, the leaves die. They become necrotic and die and eventually fall off. And uh, an example of uh, a number of red oak leaves, uh, all showing marginal necrosis or death on the margins. Uh, oak wilt does a little bit different for live oak. It actually causes the leaves to turn yellow, so for many years was uh, misdiagnosed. Uh, it causes the trees to dry rapidly. Uh, tree oak wilt can die, the tree infected with oak wilt can die in about uh, two weeks. It too is vectored by an insect. So you may see the picnic beetle, uh, natigilid, and the natigilid beetle is attracted to the fungus, which actually grows inside the bark and splits it and uh, calls pressure pads. And you remove the bark and you can see the pressure pad under the bark and the fungus is growing in here and the insect comes and feeds on it and it may leave and go infect a tree or it just may sit and, and sit. Another thing that this fungus moves around by root grafts and you may see root grafts. What happens is the trees roots below the ground will grow together and the fungus can move from one tree to the next. So those are the signs and symptoms. You may see the pressure pad, you may see the insect, you may see the wilting leaves, you may see the staining in the xylem, or you may see the root grafts. That would be oak wilt.